Hey, is that Janet? Yes. Hi. Hi, Janet. Hi. Where are you? I'm currently in uh, Western Massachusetts. I don't actually live here. I um, originally am from Saugus, Massachusetts, which is north of Boston. And I normally live in New York City. I saw you guys um, play at UMass. You played um, our, our spring concert in like, I think it was 20, spring 2012. My niece and my nephew go to um, at uh, UMass Amherst. Oh, that's really cool. My friend who I'm staying with, she's a residence director at UMass, so. Hello. <laughs> 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 sir. You still hanging around those little undergrads? Uh -huh. What did you study there? I studied, I, uh, my major was in hospitality and tourism management. Does that kind of thing make you extra hospitable at home, like to your parents or to like your friends? Or like, let me get you a tea or something like that, no? Is it, does it help at all? No. No, probably not. Yeah. Not unless you're getting paid. That's right. That's exactly right. Would you like some Splenda with that tea? <laughs> no, that's not how it works, Brad, because it's like the whole idea, like the cobbler's kid has no shoes. You know, Janet's in hospitality. It's like, fucking get it yourself. Yeah. Get, make your own you know, shoes. Make your own damn sandwich. <laughs> I grew up listening to you guys. I saw you guys live like six times. Really? Um, yeah. Why would you go see us twice or three times or six times for that matter? Because every time you guys would play like different songs and especially like if a new record would come out. Oh, it's always just like a magical experience. I don't know. You guys, I love you guys. So nice to hear. <laughs> I want it to be magical. Like I'm hoping for magical. So your cancer came back? Yeah. Well, that's fucking terrible. I know. I, I was only in remission for about six months and I actually had to like push off some of my appointments because of COVID and everything. And so they were like, oh, you know, we're only taking like emergency appointments or emergency surgery. Like they wanted to like, you know, do a scan to make sure that it hadn't come back or anything. Finally, uh, in June, I uh, went back to New York and I did a scan and then they found um, some like suspicious spots that they were like worried about. So they were like, oh, we want you to, you know, start you on chemo again. So I've just been doing chemo since June. How's that? What's, that? what's that like? What's a day in the life of when that happens? Uh, terrible. <laughs> terrible? Yeah, yeah it's, it's not fun. Um, I'm on a different, uh, cause there's different types of chemotherapy. I'm on a different drug than the last uh, time I did chemotherapy. Yeah, I get it every other week, well, a day that I have it. And then it's like connected to me through an IV and I like kind of like take it home and it um, goes through uh, for two days and then I get it uh, taken out and then kind of like usually I feel pretty crappy for about like almost a week and then you know I get a week off and then I, I've, I've been bouncing back quicker this time than last time. Last time I wasn't able to you know, do much of anything. I was like sleeping a lot because you get like really tired. This time it's been a little bit better. You know, at least I feel better and you know, I can go for walks and stuff. Sounds like a lot of work. It sounds like a full time job. It really is. I Some people uh, are able to, you know, work through it. Um, I wasn't able to. I had to, you know, go on disability from my job the last time. My dad, he actually, he had a different type of cancer and he was able to work he, he was able to work through his chemo. So mm. kind of like everyone, um, it hits everyone a little bit differently. How old are you? I'm 28. What's your social media of choice at 28? Um, probably Instagram, but I also do really like TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Super I knew you were going to say TikTok. I know I tried so hard like not to like it and I was like no I'm not gonna join it I'm not gonna become a part of it and I'm just like and then you know my friends were looking at it and I was like okay I was like there's actually really like some really funny videos you know I'm hoping that you know I get all the bad stuff out in 2020 and you know hopefully 2021 can be better yeah well I predict this for you Janet you are a uh... Yes, you are beautiful and strong, and I see you thriving. Thank mm -hmm. you. Indeed. Yeah. Hey, good luck to you. Thank you. This has been so great, and thank you guys for taking the time to do this. Um, I mean, it's definitely it's definitely been a highlight of my 2020, for sure. You guys are my all-time favorite band. I love you guys. Well, hey, how about this? Um, someday, 
maybe uh, somewhere deep, deep, deep out in 2021, you are invited to come backstage. That would be amazing, because yeah, I had tickets to see you guys for the, the Screamer tour uh, in March, and then it was rescheduled. Uh, the New York date was in July, and then- oh, You were gonna go to Radio City. I know, I was, yeah, I was excited to see you guys play there. I was like- You were excited to play there, yeah. I was Hopefully it can happen, you know, 2021. Hey, sending you lots of healing vibes. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We'll see you yeah. in uh, 2021. Yeah. Yes, I hope so. Thank you. This was so much fun. It was so great to meet you guys and talk to you guys. Right on. All right. Sign it off. Bye.